Hey, what's going on everyone? This is James here and today I'm going to do a short video about native resolution of our various schemes. So what is native resolution? It's the resolution the game naturally runs at, you know. For example, for Call of Duty series, as you can see here on the screen, it naturally runs at 1024 by 600, which is, a, it's, it's not 600p, it's more like 576p, that is a bit taller so it's not the uh, 16 to 9 uh, widescreen ratio it's 16 to 10 ratio the reason I'm doing this is because I was watching some Call of Duty video last night and I felt like this this was way too blurry for what it is you know it's supposed to be 720p and I did some background research and it turns out I'm right so basically Call of Duty series uh the the most uh they run at this low resolution to provide 60 frames per second video and you know why they did it uh, the Activision did it. Activision did it because you know they you have to, the game has to check if the bullet hit the enemy or not every single frame and to for you know for a game to be accurate it has to run at high frame rate and by running at this frame rate right here it actually saves 1.5 times the speed wait the CPU load and the GPU load so this is actually 1.5 times lower than the 720p which is what it's supposed to be so game renders at this resolution and it upscales it to 720p so upscaling really doesn't take much you know CPU even the TVs can do it so it really isn't much thing and this here right here the two times AA it means anti-aliasing uh, it's basically filling in the gaps between the pixels so if you look at this game right here It is quite low actually, but not only the game, you know, it just this uh, drop, you know, the game, the game's native resolution is low. It is also compressed when you record with like HPVR dazzles, stuff like that, uh, which means that the the recording thing drops the frames. Like the uh, drops the pixels between frames, you know. For example, between this frame and this frame, there isn't really much difference, so it can drop uh quite a few frame frames and actually saves frame uh this space by one tenth. But the thing is, it's already you know compressed when the video is you know pre uh video is exported to a t rendered to a TV you know from the Xbox or the PS3 because the Xbox uses MP4 file with it which is you know already uh, uh, it's a H AVCHD file which is like highly compressed and stuff it just drops pix uh, pixels uh, from frame and saves by one tenth same with the PS3 it's .m2ts file and drops it's about the same capacity and stuff but the thing is compare this with this this is a PC game just look at it it looks already quite smooth and the pixels are really sharp compared to HUD look at this now look at this. In the middle of the game, it is shit. The reason for that is because the like, the CPU just take the game just takes up so many uh, so much CPU power, so that you know it has to drop more frames when there's a lot of action. For example, look at this video right here. It's uh, pretty shitty, but 
this guy gets a mole Moab or whatever and after Moab I feel that the uh, like it's a bit better actually that's because the difference in color you know there's there isn't really much difference between colors except for HUD so the CPU doesn't have to calculate that much and you know that's a bit better for your CPU and it actually doesn't drop that much frame I mean pixels between frames so that's why the quality include uh that's why the quality you know it increases but look at this this is how it is exported out the the PS3 or Xbox you know the console when in this is the 1024 by 600 uh, pixels and just look at this this shit is upscale to 720p look at it look at it like things are really blurry you can't you can't really see stuff even the HUD you can tell like pixel by pixel and it's like really blurry it's not really sharp compared to Battlefield Battlefield is really kicking ass really right this is is running on PC but still even on PS3 Battlefield is gonna look much better because it has actually higher native screen resolution which is about 704p it's uh, a bit like 720p but it's kind of compressed uh, vertically so that's the difference and here, here are some more random facts on about the Call of Duty Black Ops on, on Xbox it's 1040 by 608 which is higher than the others but on the PS3 version it's actually 960 by 544 I have no idea why they would do that because PS3 actually has a uh, greater horsepower despite Xbox having better GPU so I'm not sure why that happened that's a random fact and here's some ran uh, some more random facts about native resolutions of various games for example Final Fantasy games it ha it's like super gra uh, graphic uh, intensive and it runs at 720p full 720p so that's pretty awesome the thing about Final Fantasy uh, 13 is that it uh, it you know it doesn't have really much action and it doesn't really need the high frame rate it actually renders at like, only 30 frames per second but it's enough because human eyes see anything over 24 frames per second a moving picture on on the Xbox though the Xbox has lower uh, horsepower and it is slower like, to this resolution which is pretty low but on the Final Fantasy 13 2 it's you know restored to a full 720p but it runs at lower frame rate at exactly 24 frames per second so barely enough for human eyes to not see every single frame the last you know fact here is the Ratchet and Clank series. They are you know known for having cr crazy graphics, and I thought, it, like, I thought uh, when I played on PS3, hmm, they look kind of blurry. And here's the reason: it's not even fucking close to 720p. I mean, it's it's closer to 720p than other main games, but. I never thought they would, you know, lower the frame, like the the native resolution of game. So that's it for today. And here, you no, know, there's gonna be more links to the the games games resolution in the description. So please check it out. And there's a blog, uh, no, a po post uh, explaining the the in depth. So if you're a pro and you want to know more, uh, go check it out. It's not, it's not made by me, it's made by someone else. And all this data is off the website. So thank you for watching and 